is all for the cyclists and all for the middle classes and the crackpots, yeah? There is a battle on the streets of Britain. Death threats, vandalism, huge protests. All the result of efforts to get us to use our cars less. No! Where does it say no entry? Where does it say that? Yeah, if you take targeted airstrikes on Syria, Brexit, coronavirus, of all of those, I would say low traffic neighbourhoods has been the most divisive issue that has inflamed like no other. So there are a couple of signs to mark the barrier, but the centre is open. Drive through it and you'll be issued with a £130 fine, 65 quid if you pay within two weeks. Now, within weeks of opening these low traffic neighbourhoods, they had issued almost 6,000 fines and raised almost half a million quid. When the pandemic struck, the government gave new powers and new cash to local authorities to change the road system. In went planters and bollards to block the roads. Back came the complaints. My taxi driver has dropped me off here because he can't get through to my house anymore. It's absolute nonsense about saving people's lives and air quality. Single women need to get around and go places and no longer able to get directly to their houses of residence. It has set neighbour against neighbour. The, the street that I'm on uh, had over a million cars passing my front door in a year. It meant that I couldn't sleep properly. You're, you're pushing what was your problem and you're pushing it with everyone else's road onto very, very few roads. This is allowing people to have fresher, cleaner air and choices about how they get from A to B. There are four schools on the main roads that are now chugging down a massive amount of pollution. But your plan what is to I'm rip them all out and then we just well, want to have the status quo. Consultation is a really fair way I to agree. do things. Yeah. And there has been no consultation for these ones that have been implemented. These low traffic neighbourhoods are being introduced across the country. 20 billion more miles being driven around homes now than there were just 10 years ago. And if we consulted on that, there would have been a much bigger uproar than there is for low traffic neighbourhoods. As coronavirus restrictions lift, traffic volumes will increase. So the controversy continues. Justin Rowlatt, BBC News.